Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So, as promised in my Act 6.4.6 .6 video, here is the Grandmaster fight in its entirety, uncut. All right, uh, I just showed you the highlights in that video, but I know some people wanted to see me getting wrecked. Uh, going in, dying maybe after a really bad attempt and that sort of thing. Also, if you want to know how many uh, revives I've used, this is the video where you can actually count them up. I haven't done so. I don't know how many. I was guessing uh, between 20 and 30 uh, just because it felt really, really long. Okay. Um, I, I felt like I did a lot of attempts before I finally... Uh, got used to the fight. So I'm not going to narrate over this entire fight. Uh, it's a pretty long fight, but I will talk a little bit about the fight. Uh, I don't feel like I'm an expert at this fight at this time because I only went up against him this one time that you're seeing here. And I've watched other videos. People have soloed him uh, without too much difficulty. Uh, he seems to be straightforward once you learn his different phases and what you need to do. And then it just becomes a matter of skill. Okay, but what you're seeing here in the beginning, I have to learn. It's a learning process. And so even though I had watched, I think, one video on this fight, I didn't watch it in its entirety. And there was a video where someone was explaining uh, the fight, but hearing it explained and actually experiencing it and doing it, two different things. So you'll notice that some times in the beginning, the um, Grand Master will ban certain attacks. That's in the initial phase. And what you have to do there is whatever attack is banned and you have to watch. It's one of the reasons that I'm not a big fan of these types of fights because I'm busy watching my opponent. But now I have to divide my attention to watch for a prompt when he decides to ban light attacks. You only want to do parries and mediums. Um, I guess you could do heavies as well. And then he will ban decks, he'll ban parry, once you avoid those, you hit them a good number of times without, you know, using one of those attacks, you gain competence. That is what you want to do in this fight. You build up competence by meeting various challenges that the Grandmaster puts forth throughout the fight. In different phases, the challenges may be a little bit different. Okay, so the initial phase I mentioned uh, some of those challenges with the banning of different attacks. Uh, later on, you will have challenges like gain a buff, uh, put on a, you know, damage over time effect on them, uh, dash back, make a dash back, um, hit into his block, land a critical. You know, these are just some of the uh, challenges that you're going to have to do in order to build up competence. And eventually, he's going to go into a wounded phase. This is the phase that you're going to do crazy amounts of damage. So don't be worried when you see the large health pool that he has, because you're going to do a lot of damage during that wounded phase. So that's pretty much how you're going to handle the fight up until the very final phase. Okay, you're going to meet challenges get competence, which will increase your damage during the wounded phase. And then in the wounded phase, you go ham, and then you do it again. Uh, there's another phase where you're going to have to deal with inverted controls. I hated that phase. You're going to see when I get into that phase, very difficult for me to kind of get used to and switch. It messes with my mind so bad. I hate it. Um, I hated it when Emma Frost came into the contest with her inverted controls, and I still hate it. But eventually, I got used to it. The way that they set up the timer, uh, you'll notice 
that you're going to have to deal with that inverted. You know, he's not going to go into a wounded phase before you deal with inverted controls. So once you've dealt with those successfully, didn't die, afterwards, he's going to go wounded. And then you can go ahead and do as much damage as you can to him. Okay. Uh, the very final phase, uh, when he gets to like 1% health, uh, you're going to see uh, what happens to me there. If you watch my video, you already know. But he goes unblockable and unstoppable. So my strategy, uh, what I recommend is just staying away from him. And if you can stay away from him long enough, he's going to then go into this phase where I believe he's infuriated or something like that. And you can just fire off a special and the fight's over. Okay. But until you get to that phase, hopefully all of this will help you out. Uh, enjoy the fight. Like I said, I'm not going to talk uh, over the entire uh, video, but I did want to give you guys a little bit uh, of instruction on this fight, at least the knowledge that I've been able to gain. So if anything that I've said is not quite correct just remember this is from me fighting him one time and watching a video uh one video uh or two on him so hopefully it helps you guys out all right so enjoy the rest of the fight uh click like if you enjoyed the video uh leave a comment let me know uh what you thought about this fight enjoy seeing me get wrecked uh i did get tilted every once in a while in there you know, go in and mess up instantly because I forgot uh, something. So anyway, enjoy uh, and you all have a blessed day. Most of the music that you're going to hear is provided by LC Music Tracks. You will find links in the description of all the music that is used here. Most of it is from LC Music Tracks. There'll be a few songs that are not but if you want help identifying what song is playing, check the description. All right, enjoy the fight.
across myself, this story is never ending. Everything in play, the landscape mind bending.